Hey guys, it's me Hishyam. Welcome to Hishyam's Arena. Today's video is going to be under the classification of Curiosity Arena or Learning Arena. This was a new playlist that I added for the revamp of my channel. Speaking in English, it's a Herculean task for many as English is not our mother tongue. So how can we make it easier and start speaking in English fluently? One such effort is to know whether we are using appropriate words in our sentences. In today's video, we are going to learn about a common mistake we make in our daily practice. That is, about the usage of the word very. We usually say words like very nice, very happy, very interesting and so on. Instead, we will now begin to learn what words can be used instead of very and how it's going to make a big change in our vocabulary. Let's start learning. Let's begin with very cute. That kitten is very cute. Instead, we can say adorable. Look at that kitten. It's adorable. Next. We have very old. The museum has a good collection of very old artifacts. Instead, we can say ancient. The museum has a good collection of ancient artifacts. Next up, we have very perfect. Which should be replaced with flawless. This video will help you achieve flawless English vocabulary. So please like this video. And while you are down there, also hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. And hit the notification bell to know when I upload a new video. Let's get back. Now we have very slow. The country's economy remains very slow. Instead, we can use sluggish. The country's economy remains sluggish. Next up, we have very colorful. These wall paintings are very colorful. It should be replaced with vibrant. These wall paintings are vibrant. Next up, we have very rich. She grew up in a very rich family. Instead, we should use wealthy. She grew up in a wealthy family. Next up, we have very poor. The floods left thousands of people very poor. Instead, we should use destitute. The floods left thousands of people destitute. Next up, we have very sad. Hamlet is a very sad drama. Instead, we can say sorrowful. Hamlet is a sorrowful drama. Next up, we have very noisy. The construction site was very noisy. Instead, we can use deafening. The construction site was deafening. Next up, we have very painful. He had a slow and very painful death. Instead, we can say excruciating. He had a slow and excruciating death. Next up, we have very shiny. He polished his car until it was very shiny. It can be replaced with gleaming. He polished his new car until it was gleaming. Next up, we have very dangerous. The journey through the jungle was very dangerous. We can say perilous. The journey through the jungle was perilous. Next up, we have very shy. 
A very shy person is seen as nervous on stage. Instead, we can use timid. A timid person is usually seen as nervous on the stage. Next up, we have very upset. Weeks after the accident, she remained very upset. Instead, we can say distraught. Weeks after the accident, she remained distraught. And the last one is very easy. He proposed a very easy solution to a complex problem. Instead, we can say facile. He proposed a facile solution to a complex problem. I hope you found this video helpful. And please comment down below which of these words you have heard for the first time. And share this video with your friends and relatives. Bye! See you next time!